That song never gets old. Hello, Brian. You, you're back. I never left, Brian. You can still hear me, can't you? I don't want anything to do with you. I don't believe you have a choice, Brian. For you see, the day I predicted has come. The end of the world is upon us. I, I, I don't understand. You, you disappear for three years and come back to tell me the world has ended? Like, you know what kind of weight that has to love bear? I apologize, Brian, but the emergency is dire. Do you remember the last time you saw me? When I ran into that grease fire at the Golden Corral. I haven't forgotten. Well, you see, Brian, since then I have traversed the world, observing the minds of different people with my telepathic abilities, and I have stumbled upon a startling discovery. For you see, the minds of every influential leader around the planet have been... Poisoned. P poisoned I've looked into every single mind of every single leader, and they all have a single word repeating inside of their heads. Macaroni. What does that mean? I was stumped too, until I realized there was only one man in the entire planet who could embed people's thoughts with macaroni, and that man is him. Uh, who's he? This. Brian is Dr. Bago Bugo. He is my creator and sworn enemy. Bago Bugo has made it his life's goal to mind control the entire planet. I have been able to stop him, but for only so long. Now, he has returned. Is he dangerous? No. He is dangerous er. Dr. Bago Bugo is more powerful than even I. His telepathic abilities are so strong that he can even astral project his conscious into someone without even seeing them. And it is a useful talent. No! <laughs> we meet again, Telepa Bear. Long time no see. Bogo Bugo. Up to your old tricks, I see. I assume you're in your car right now? No, my friend. I am, in fact, in my car. Are you heathen? What have you done to this world? No, oh, the power of mind control is a powerful tool. One cannot be too careful when wielding such. The world will be mine. And when it is, it will be mine. And nothing you can do will stop me. So you've come this far to fight me? I have come this far to fight you. Then let us fight each other. You are weak, my creation. The world will change, and there is nothing you can do about it. Change? What you seek is not good change. It is conformity. By controlling the world under one mind, the idea of individuality is skewered. Yes, the human race may fight because they are different, but I believe there are differences we can overcome. The differences in individual people are what make the world stronger. How we can fight back against those that are wrong and move ahead towards progress. Allowing people to think and to feel freely. That is the beauty of the human race. Oh. Never really thought of it like that. And I, I refuse to let your evil last. No, 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 no. You're, you're right, man. I, I, I was wrong. I was wrong. I, I get it now. I get it. You now. will face punishment. Ah, uh, no, it's not really a need for that. Dr. Bogo Bugo, I banish you. To the Shadow Realm! What? What... what happened? D 
Did we win? Yes, Brian. The world is saved. Thanks to me. Did I help? No. Now, I must go. Will I ever see you again, Telepa Bear? One day, my friend. In Telepa Bear 2, Atomic Boogaloo. But for now, I bid you farewell. <laughs> <laughs>